Using Fader 2 as a send to Pro Tools is one of the most common workflow solutions used in the studio. In this scenario, signal is routed from the microphone tie line through the preamp and into Fader 2. Here the signal is assigned to a particular bus and then sent to Pro Tools. The return from Pro Tools is monitored on Fader 1. Now that we have a basic picture, let's go through a scenario in more detail. Say we are recording a voiceover and have a microphone connected to tie 1. From the patch bay, route the output of tie 1 to the input of preamp 1. Remember that when using mic ties 17 through 32 in the audio studio, there is no need for patching, as they are normal to the same number of preamp. So, if we have our microphone connected to tie 17, it would automatically show up on preamp 17. Signal is now in the preamp, but needs to be routed to fader 2. At the bay, patch the output of your preamp to the fader 2 channel input, channel 1 in our case. Check your level at each step in order to make sure that the signal is passing and not clipping. A quick way to check and see if you're getting signal is to use the solo buttons. Getting signal from Fader 2 to Pro Tools requires the use of a bus. The output of Fader 1 is normal to the buses and must be directed to Fader 2 output in order to get signal to the DAW. Bus connections are not normal to the console channels and must be directed using the bus assignment section of the board. While assigning bus channels can be performed inside the console computer, we will use the board. Generally, people like to have their channels on the board match up with their channels in Pro Tools. In our case, we will use bus 1. Remember to activate the Fader 2 button before selecting the bus. In our situation, we would activate Fader 2 and Bus 1 buttons. Hit the Set button to apply your routing to the channel. If you plan on monitoring your mix off of Fader 1, you must also send Fader 1 to a stereo bus. We'll use Stereo A. Simply add SDA and Pan under Fader 1 to your current assignment. Inside Pro Tools, take a new track and set up the inputs and outputs. For our case, we would have one track with both the input and output A1. Output A1 sends the signal directly to Fader 1 Channel 1 without having to patch. Once again, you can send the output to any channel you want. The Audio Studio has three 16-channel interfaces labeled A, B, and C that correspond to the 48 channels on the board. Be sure that you are using the interface input and outputs, as buses are strictly inside the DAW. Simply record and enable your tracks, and check the level of the incoming signal. Don't forget to move your fader on the board up. Finally, arm the record in Pro Tools and press play. 